All right, guys, got something a little different going on today. I'm out here at uh, Hurley Lake, um, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. It's the uh, first real warm day of spring. It's probably about, I don't know, 70, 75 degrees out. And uh, you can see the water behind me, but it's uh, it's real windy out. Probably 15, 20 mile an hour wind. So we'll see what can happen. Hopefully the, the bass are active and uh, get a few fish for you. So uh, let's go do it. Is that one on there or is that hung up? Oh yeah, here we go. Something on, oh yeah. First one out of the little pond here. It's not very big, but I'll take it. Sweet. At least they're here, right? Yeah. Wow. They're here, he ain't very big though. Still gotta get a picture of them though. Let's get you back in the water here. Pretty clear water here too. There we go, swim up. There we go. Second cast, second cast. Let's see if we can do that again. So he was right where he should have been. He was, uh, Right up next to that log, pretty much. That foot brag marsh. Foot brag marsh. Ooh. Someone's been down here too. He took a step. Ooh, sink. Sink hole. Guys, this is a big precarious right here. I really don't want to get my boots, boots that muddy. That's what you got to go through sometimes to get the fish. That's what you got to do. You got to trample through all this stuff. Mm. There's a log there. That's good. Mm. All right, so I'm walking back to the truck now, and don't worry, it's not the end of the day, but uh, I got to about as far as I could on that side of the pond and ran out of shore. It was all mar marsh. I don't feel like sticking, stick I can't talk either. I didn't feel like stepping in eight inches of mud. So heading back, lost my spinner bait, but I think I'm gonna try a jerk bait with this wind, maybe get the drop shot out, and uh, go back to where I caught that first fish, and maybe there'll be some more there, so. Let's go get them. It's summertime, I'm sure this is amazing. The problem is, I'm afraid to come down here with all the snakes and chiggers and ticks. Ain't be no fun. They need, to, they need to do a controlled burn back here. That's what I swear. Controlled burn. There we go, got one on, but I'm hot. Oh, oh, he's stuck on the log. Flip him over. Oh yeah, flipped him over. Little one, but that's all right. 
He choked it too. He choked it. But that was a perfect right, almost got him in the eye. Perfect. Well, it's a little wood. It's all right. I don't know, I think it's Dink City here. Second one of the day though. Let's get uh let's get him back in the water. There he goes. There's a the fish. There we go. Another dink. It's all right. That's number three of the day. Beautiful fish. Beautiful little fish. I need to get some bigger ones. Okay, so you may know, or you may not know, it depends on how I edited this video. Uh, I lost my skirt to my spinnerbait, and I was catching fish. So, what I decided to do, I, I came up and do bait here. This is this is gonna this is gonna be amazing. It's a spinner craw, all right? It's the craw spinner, something like that. Look at that. That's that beauty. Anyways, I just dropped my rod. Uh, took the crawl off my Texas rig. I just couldn't get out far enough. I don't have heavy enough weight on it. And uh, I'm gonna pitch around the spinner crawl and uh, hopefully catch on some bass. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I have uh, tested the spinner crawl out, and I will say this: I do not recommend it as a solution to if you lose your skirt and you have nothing else. A piece of grass may be better because let me tell you what. One, I don't know if you can see this thing. The crawl has a tendency to come out, run like run like this in the water, which then messes up your blades and obviously is not a presentation that catches fish. So, don't recommend this. All right guys, uh, back at the truck now. Uh, finishing up here at Lake Hurley out here at uh, Fort Bragg. This actually hasn't been too bad, I caught three once. Just three little dinks, but better than nothing after uh, not being on the water for a while. It's also a, a good time, you know, to come out and do some bank fishing stuff. I haven't done a whole lot of. Uh, hopefully there will be more of these videos to come. It was certainly interesting uh, banging through the brush, cut myself, I had to wrap it with electrical tape, which I don't recommend because it does constrict blood flow. Hey, but it's me. You guys don't do it. And then, of course, my boots are all muddy now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just caked in mud. So I gotta wash out tonight, gotta do some laundry, wash my uniform, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. All right, make sure you like it down below, subscribe, and uh, let me know of any of the places you want me to fish if, if you know the local area. So stay tuned, uh, should be more videos like this coming soon.